Losses are lessons. In life, we're going to go through a lot of losses. We're going to go through a lot of upsets, ups and downs. But I'm just here to tell you that life is full of losses. And don't get discouraged if you experience a loss. Because every single person on this earth is going to lose at some point in their life. No one just has a perfect winning streak at anything, you know? And if you do, you, you're really lucky, but nine times out of 10, that's not gonna happen, you know? You may have a winning streak, but then you're gonna experience a loss, a setback, a downturn. See, one of the laws of nature that I've heard of from my one of my favorite YouTubers named Mason Brown, he said, the law of nature states that whatever comes up must come down. So if you're going up in society, let's say you're getting all this success, eventually when you get much older, that success is going to go down. It's not going to be the same as when you were younger, when you were, you know, in your prime, you know. So whatever comes up must come down. And also the opposite, right? Maybe not all the time, but sometimes, you know, people that have been in poverty for some a lot of their life, some of them end up rising to the top. You know what I'm saying? To having, you know, riches and fame and not that these things matter, but that's kind of the law of nature, you know? You know, a lot of successful rich people were once poor and a lot of poor people some of them were once successful, you know? And I'm just here to tell y'all that, you know, we all are going to experience downturns, but just understand that it's a natural part of life. It's a natural part of, you know, what makes us stronger as human beings. Because without losses, we wouldn't develop to, the strength to survive, you know? And I think... I'm going to be honest, you guys. I think that winning too much can actually be a bad thing. And I'm not saying I'm not saying winning is bad all the time because sometimes it's good, but sometimes winning too much can be a bad thing because you're not learning anything. You're not you're not going through adversity and then you're going to get bored of, you know, not going through anything, you know? When you don't go through adversity, you become soft in a way. And I'm not saying this to say that, you know, people are soft, but like you're not as tough when you don't go through adversity. Now, when you go through hard times, when you go through downturns, then that's when your strength develops. And each and every one of us as human beings need strength in order to survive in this world. Because as most of us may know, living in today's world is very difficult with inflation going on, with the presidential debate, um, bills that are being passed by the Congress. Um, you know, so the, all types of things are going on and so many events are just happening and it's it can be hard on society it can be hard on people you know the job market the everything you know from politics to jobs to ai to to just surviving prices of rent prices of gas so we all know that life isn't easy but struggle is what makes us tougher and and helps us to go through these hard times you know I can honestly say myself that, you know, my life hasn't always been easy. There are times, man, there are times where it was just really hard and tough. But I hung in there because I knew that, hey, when I'm at the end of this, things are going to be a lot better. So I'm just here to tell y'all, man, keep going. Even if you feel like the world is ending. You may feel like, oh man, I, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Just keep going. Sometimes 
you won't always see the end. And in fact, it may not be a good thing if you saw the end, you know, because then you're like, oh, this is how it's going to turn out, you know. And when you experience life, sometimes you need to go through the adversity to really see what you're made of, you know. That's how people get stronger. That's how people win championships. That's how people get college degrees. They just keep going no matter what it looks like. They don't know what the end is going to entail. I mean, they know the end result, but they don't know how things are going to exactly turn out, but they keep going. And I'm here to tell y'all, man, keep going. If you feel like the world is ending, you may be homeless. You may be evicted. You may, whatever the case may be, keep going. I don't care where you are in your life currently. Keep going. Just have that tenacity to never give up. No matter how hard things get, no matter what you're going through, keep going. And when you keep going, there's a lot that life has to offer us when we keep going. When you give up, there's nothing for you. There's You're going to be in the same spot as you are now. And a lot of people in today's society can't afford to give up because you got people relying on you. You got your family relying on you. You got friends relying on you. You got younger siblings relying on you. You got uh, children and nieces and nephews relying on you. So that's why you got to think of the reasons why you cannot give up. And most people, I'm going to be honest, most people can't afford to give up. I'm going to be honest, like a lot of them, yes, some people do, but it the results are never good, you know? But there are people out here literally just trying to make it out here that just cannot afford to give up or things will crumble, you know? And I'm just here to tell y'all, no matter if you have an easy situation or a hard situation, keep going. And some of y'all know this already, but man... Keep going in life. Keep going, you know, even when the odds are stacked against you. You know, that's where the real fight is. When the odds are stacked against you, when everyone, when people doubt you, when people say you can't do it, keep going. That shows you what you're really made of. And even if you lose, you get back up and you go at it again. You know, that's what makes a winner. A winner, what makes a winner is a person that never gives up, a person that is tenacious, that is, that has perseverance. You know, these people often, a lot of times they, they win in life. Maybe not everybody, but a lot of times these people thrive, man, because they were willing to fight. And sometimes in life you have to fight for what you want in life. You have to fight for what you you know, what is what you deserve in life, because people aren't just going to hand you what you deserve. People aren't going to give you what you deserve. No, you got to earn it a lot of times. And I'm not saying, you know, you should tolerate disrespect and all that. But a lot of times people, people aren't going to respect you at the bottom. People aren't going to really see what you're about at the bottom but when you make it they're gonna respect you more because they know what it took to earn it and i'm just here to tell y'all man you know keep going and not to say that you work for people's respect but really you gotta work for your own you know because if you respect yourself you're gonna do better things in your life you're gonna make better decisions you're gonna make um more moves in your life you know, when you choose to get better, you know, when you choose to do better, you know, and I'm just here to tell y'all, man, just keep going. And I'm going to say it again. Keep going. When you feel like you're on edge, keep going. Because those that keep going, they see the fruits of their labor. They, they reach the gold. It's almost like digging in a gold mine, like, the people that gave up too soon might have been pretty close, but the people that never gave up and just always found a way to get in there, they eventually got to the goal. But the people that 
just stop digging, they never got the gold. So in order for you to get the gold, you got to keep digging. You know, it's kind of like, now I know it's not the gold rush era and back in the 19, early 1900s. I know it's not the California gold rush or anything like that. Like, I don't know if that's really possible now, but you know, you'd probably have to buy gold online. But like, to those that never gave up, ran into the gold. You know, and some people might not have dig, but they might have, to, in order to get to the goal, they wanted, they may have had to sell shovels. And that's how they got to the goal. Some people started their own business and that's how they got to the goal. But you got to find your way of finding and reaching the goal, you know, and not to say that, you know, life is all about money and, you know, life is... It's not all about money, but we all know that we need money to survive. And and nowadays, you got to work really hard to make money. Now, you know, you can still take advantage of online businesses and opening your own Shopify store, opening your own, like, like starting your own YouTube channel, um, you know, even just have, being somewhat self-employed. But... You know, like in order to reach the gold, you just got to, you got to work, man. You got to work hard. And it's, it's not an easy journey, but you'll get, you'll find a way if you're persistent. If you're persistent. If you're not persistent, like I said, you're not going to make it. You're just going to stay stagnant and stay where you are. But I'm just here to tell y'all, man, just don't give up. Don't give up because there's nothing there if you give up or it's going to be less than what you deserve. And you don't want to settle for less. You want it all. You want all of your success. You don't want a little bit. You don't want little scraps. You want the whole package. You want the whole cake. I know I want the whole cake. That's why I work hard now. But I'm just here to tell y'all, man, you got to keep going. And life is full of losses, y'all. I want to thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video and hit that notification bell for more of my upcoming videos. And have a great day, everybody. It's Martha Greatest. Peace.